the President and Chief Executive Officer of the American Gaming Association, Mr. Frank Ferencall. Welcome to G2E Asia 2009. Uh, the AGA is proud to be one of the co-sponsors of this event, along with our partners, Reed Exhibitions. This is our third year here in Macau, uh, and our second year in this event will have, have an opportunity to access cutting-edge products that will help attract customers, we hope, and enhance efficiencies throughout your business. And you'll also have access to the region's key thought leaders through our education and networking events. Uh, we're honored today to have with us a group of guests who play important roles in the economic, political, and ministerial affairs here in Asia to help us kick off G2E Asia 2009. It's now my pleasure to introduce Paulo Azevedo, Executive Director of the Macau Business Magazine, and our partner in today's award presentation to introduce today's honoree. Thank you, Frank. For the next few minutes, allow me to be your historical guide on a stroll through Macau, a Macau that has gone through incredible changes since the 1960s. Man who learned early in life not to take no for an answer and preferred to see challenges where others saw problems opens his first casino. Near the heart of the city, Hotel Sturil was born and this was a time when manufacturing was king. The city had many factories, many uh, factories making shoes, textiles, toys, something that has been lost a little bit over the years for reasons you all know. Gaming grew in importance and more casinos opened. In 1970, the alma mater of this year's honorary empire, Casino Lisboa, opened its doors. The foundations of an entertainment and tourism industry that never stopped growing. Tackle a host of challenges using his knowledge of the industry and the terrain where he walked to create a vision that brought a host of advantage to the city. Today, he remains the leader in market share, and uh, last month, May, uh, he got 30%, and his 30% is worth several times more than the 100% he enjoyed just a few years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2009 Asia Visionary Award recipient, Dr. Stanley Ho. now invite to the stage the Honorable Chief Executive of the Macau SAR, Mr. Edmund Ho Haua, to present our winner with his lifetime awards. So very much, Chief Executive Edmund Hoa Later on, we will again have the privilege of your presence on stage. But now, all the lights will focus on our award winner, who will deliver his G2E Asia keynote presentation, Dr. Stanley Ho. It is especially meaningful to receive this award from the industry in which I have enjoyed such a long association. I am also pleased to see 
so many old and new friends here. And to our visitors from overseas, I extend to you my heartfelt welcome to Macau. Before I continue, I would like to say a few words in Cantonese, as we have so many Chinese friends and media here. 得到業界特別係美國同行嘅肯定,因為我係一個合適嘅人選,真係卻知不公. To show how long this has been a concern of mine, I have brought today a news clip from 1962, in which I said, the view that our enterprise is merely one of a gaming character is a misconception. Our purpose, the real one, is to bring a new prosperity to Macau and improve the welfare and living standard of its citizens. He four years earlier than Ebala. The modern era of gaming in Macau began in 1962 when STDM was awarded the sole concession. The opening of the hotel and the casino is for Macau's first integrated gaming resort in 1970. Usher in a wave of growth and development and made Macau as famous as Las Vegas and Monte Carlo. In 1973, the number of visitors exceeded 2 million for the first time. Gaming since then has become the major contributor of Macau's tax revenue and also one of the largest employers. SCDM, after its 40-year monopoly has remained in Macau. So have its massive, long-term and tangible investments. The airport, the bridge, the ferry terminal, the Macau Tower, and other developments, including the urbanization of the Outer Harbor and Nam Wan Lakes District. We recognize that everything links to Hong Kong and the rest of the world were critical to gaming growth. So we introduced high-speed ferries and helicopters. We also need to balance the impact of our human resources policies on the local economy, particularly on small and medium-sized businesses and provide opportunities for Macau people as a priority. Obviously, it's expanding globally, spreading wide across the Asian region and the rest of the world. Many countries now face the challenge of the developing a gaming industry that is responsible to society. And the world is examining all in sharper focus. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, on my count of three, please. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you very much. I now pronounce GTE Asia 2009 officially open. You are all invited to visit our exhibition hall. Thank you, our officiating guests. Thank you.